365 back at it again. It's been a while. Um, and so I've been sitting here on this Saturday. And a reminder, don't forget to set your clocks back. Of course, if I don't get this video out until tomorrow, <clears throat> then I'll be a day late. But anyway, it's the thought that counts. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to attempt to, um, to make, <laughs> I don't know if this has ever been done. I don't know if this is going to turn out, but I'm going to attempt to make, <clears throat> hang on now, <laughs> sausage gravy ravioli. Don't know if it's ever been done. Don't know if it can be done, but I'm going to give it a shot. And I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to make my pasta. So this ought, this ought to be interesting. So stick around, grab a beer, grab a glass of wine, <clears throat> kick back and enjoy the entertainment. All right, <clears throat> you guys ready for this? I got some uh, double O flour um, and you know, I've done the pasta thing before, but I've never done it this way as far as making a well with the flour. Uh, does it make a difference? I don't know. Anyway, uh, so with that, um, I bust in two eggs. There's one. I don't have my garbage can with me, so. And there's two. bit of sea salt in here. It's supposed to be a pinch and oh well. Yeah it's probably a pinch. And then um, a tablespoon of olive oil. And then we'll just get all messy, mix it together. Yes, I don't know. Yeah, this is uh, this is going to be interesting. Um, I have used the, the the my pasta machine before. It's a hand crank deal, and uh, so I'm not a complete newbie to that. But I don't know why. They say you're supposed to do it this way versus just putting all the ingredients in a, in a mixer and mixing it up. I mean, I, I, I don't know. But, oh well. So, let me, um, let me get this mixed up here, incorporate it all, get my uh, ball of dough prepped, and then, uh, then we'll come back. All right, there you go. Here's my ball of dough. I'm uh, going to let that rest, going to start on the sausage gravy. Alright, so we got the, uh, I bought uh, sage flavored uh, sausage. So I'm going to get this um, browned up and uh, <laughs> I guess we'll be back after I do that. Alright, there we go. Sausage is cooked and we add some flour. A little bit. Good. This all stirred up. Hey, what? My wrist is sore as hell I'm trying to stir this stuff. Using a big old cast iron grill. Grill. Cast iron skillet. I'm bumping into things here. Um, so I'll let this get incorporated. Flour. All right. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. 
oops, lost the sausage out there in the on the counter. All right, close enough. This. Getting ready for the milk. I, I, you know what? I don't think I've ever made sausage gravy before. So this is all a total experiment. We'll see. All right, let's get the milk. Milk are going in. Oh yeah. And let's see. Put some fresh cracked jack in here. Keep it going. Keep coming. And I'm gonna put some of uh Tango Spice's uh Cajun rub in here too. How much? I don't know. Like that much? <laughs> Tripping over the dogs here. All right. So now I'm gonna get this down, get it thickened up, and then uh, I'll come back, let you know what happens next. All right. So here I'm at. Yeah, here I am at the consistency. I know, I know, I just like, how the hell are you going to get this in the ravioli? Well, I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't you. This thought just came to me. <laughs> but I want to put some, add some basil to this too, though. I love basil. So, um, but yeah, hopefully, um, it, you know, if I have to stick it in the refrigerator to thicken it up even more, I don't know. Um, but uh, I didn't want to, initially I was thinking about just doing a sausage ravioli. Now I thought, well, what kind of sauce can I put over that? Um, you know, and I don't know. I just thought, well, hell, I'll try this. So, um, yeah, like I said, it may or may not work. I don't care. It's edible as it is. So, but yeah. Um, Mm. That tastes perfect. Yep. So, all right. So, uh, my dough is still resting. Next step is to make <laughs> the dough. <laughs> all right, we'll be back. All right, you guys ready? There's my uh, doughing station, if you will or pasta station. Let's open this thing up. Um, and let's, let's get to it. Shoot. Got some flour in here. And uh, I believe what I'm gonna do is uh, cut this in half. See what happens. Of course, I got it on the biggest, the widest setting. And <laughs> look at that. Huh? Is that neat or what? Damn. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And I just fold it back over itself and Continue on. All right. So, um, and then I'll I'll I do that about uh, hell I don't know, I think five times on each setting. So I mean this is going to take a while to do, and uh, and obviously I'm not going to film it all. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is pretty fun. All right, 
Um, so there you have it. And uh, I'll be back after I get this all ready to uh, fill. Hey. All right. Sorry. That was in the way. Okay. Um, I think I've done it. <laughs> With that little ball of dough, and I got two of these suckers. Starting to. I did flour them, but they're kind of. I mean, look at this. Huh? I got some pasta dough. Hey! All right. And I'm not even Italian. All right, so I'm going to uh, cut those up to size, um, grab a beer, and uh, let my uh, filling cool down. It is getting thicker, which is what I want. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's uh, very good. So let me cut these up, figure out uh, what other issues I have. Um, the dog's going crazy good, the sausage smell. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it uh, didn't turn out too bad. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, that's what I got. Uh, I know I should have had an even, so one will go over top of the other one. But, uh, so I'll just have to fold one over. But, uh, anyway, uh, there you go. And, uh, just about ready to, uh, stuff these things. All right, let's see what we can do here. Um, I'm assuming about a teaspoon or so. said never done this before yeah I know I gotta wet the edges too so we'll see I've got a glass that I'm hoping will be the right size see all right I know I know I'm, I'm hurrying yeah, I'm not gonna make you watch the whole damn thing probably should have spread these out before I turned the camera around and I'll, I'll, then all you had to witness was me laying over the other other dough but you know what the hell one more, I think. May or may not be enough or too much. All right. So, um, I need some water. Yeah. Didn't think about it. Well, I thought about it, but actually, you know what? I don't know if I have. Thought I had a brush, but oh well. I just use my fingers. Don't tell nobody, okay? I don't know if this is gonna work, but probably could have done a different way. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Shit. Yeah, I know. Actually, I got a bust of that one right there. Can you believe that? I'm working it. I'm trying. Bear with me. I know this is painstaking. My damn glass. Oh, that's the water glass. I use the same glass to cut these out, though.
one's got the blowout, which I'm not worried about. I'm going to take the prettiest one and see here. All right. So there you go. That's my um, ravioli. Um, so I'm going to get the rest of these done and then we'll be back. Okay, so we got boiling water. You know what's funny? Some of these, um, well, the last, the last single um, dough I had, uh, I only had one piece, so I had to actually lay them over this way versus putting another piece of dough on there. So they actually look like uh, pedogies. So I'm just gonna do a couple of these. I'm assuming they're gonna bust open. <laughs> But, you know, you never know. Um, do four maybe. Maybe five. Don't want to crowd it. So we shall see. So, let those boil, float to the top, uh, put them on a plate, and come back. Well, good news and bad news. <laughs> the good news is, um, they taste fine. Uh, the bad news is, I need to seal them a little bit better. Um, and I added some uh, sriracha to them. The, um, the dough is nice. I mean, most of them held their filling, but some of them did bust open, so I have to uh, uh, do a better job of sealing next time, if I do it. It is kind of a pain in the ass to do this. Uh, it's nice to say that I made homemade pasta. So uh, I've got a little bit of sausage feeling left. I'll hold on to that for maybe tomorrow morning or something. But anyway, that's all I got. Um, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, we'll see you again. Cheers.